Here we've got a setup just to test uh, the wireless remote control. Um, this is the receiver. The receiver has a power feed to it. The red is the positive, the black is the negative. The green is not connected, that's an antenna wire. And then the two other wires, which are the yellow and the white, are the trigger wires. Depending on which button on the wireless remote is pressed, will energize either one of these wires to plus 12 volts. Uh, that is then used to activate the solenoid. So what we've done here to test it, we've joined both of these outputs onto the positive probe of a multimeter which is set on DC 20 volts and the negative probe of the multimeter is to the earth on the battery. With this particular remote control system you have to turn it on first by pressing that button and you'll see there's a bright green light. That light needs to be bright and that indicates a good battery state. Now when I press the out that will energize the white wire which should give us 12 volts on there. You can hear a small click on the receiver and you'll see that the voltage has gone up to the battery voltage. If I release that will go back down and then if I use the in we'll come back up and that indicates that the correct signal has been sent through the signal wire. If you've got those readings on the voltmeter then you know that the remote is working as it should be.